Jesus is the door. In John 10, he says, I am the door. I am the doorway that you must go through to get to the Father. But also, he is the door to everything. He is the door to our healing. He is the door to our redemption. He is the door to our prosperity. He is the doorway that if we need something, then he will provide it and he will open the door for us. You know, it also says that the Holy Spirit is the porter that will help open the door for us. You know, it's important that we know which door to go through. And now that we do, we know that Jesus, the Word of God, the Word is our doorway into everything that we need that pertains to life and godliness in this realm. And I'd like for us to turn... Uh, if you have your Bibles uh, open to Luke chapter 11, if we ask of the Lord according to His will, He will give it unto us. And this passage right here, starting in verse 9, So I say unto you, these, these are Jesus' words, Ask, and it will be given unto you. Seek, and you shall find. Knock, and the door will be opened unto you. For everyone who asks receives. He who, who seeks finds. You know, we're to seek the kingdom of God first and His righteousness. And all of these other things will be added unto us. Remember that Jesus is our doorway, and He is the door to the sheep. It says here, uh, he who seeks finds, and to him who knocks, the door will be opened. Which of you as fathers, if you have a son, and the son asks for a fish, will you give him a snake instead? Or if he asks for an egg, will you give him a scorpion? If you then, though you are evil, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your Father in heaven give the Holy Spirit to those who ask for him. You know, that's what this is all about about today. The message is about receiving, asking and receiving the Holy Spirit. You say, Well, I have the Holy Spirit. I'm saved. I've asked Jesus to come into my heart as Savior and Lord. And yes, that's right. The Father comes in, the Son comes in, and the Holy Spirit comes in at that particular juncture, at that particular point. Uh, of salvation, all three of them come and take up their dwelling place inside of you, in your spirit. In your spirit. However, in Acts chapter 1, verse 8, it says, And you shall be endued with power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you, not just in you, but upon you, and you shall be my witnesses. Praise the name of Jesus. That word witness there means to experience God. To, to know the supernatural realm. To be uh, able to enter in to the supernatural realm. See, uh, without the Spirit of God, it says with the Spirit there is liberty. And without the, the Holy Spirit of God, we, there's not any freedom. We may be born again, we may be saved, but there's not a freedom there to enter into the supernatural realm. And that's where God is. God is love. You know, it says in the book of Jude uh, that we are to build ourselves up on our most holy faith, praying in the Holy Ghost. And then the very next verse says, keep yourself in the love of God. You know, the Holy Spirit will keep us in the presence of God. He will keep us in the love of God. You know, God is love. And if you want to be where He is, then it is very critical that you receive the the baptism of the Holy Spirit, that you receive your prayer language. You know, I thank the Lord every day 
that because I'm a pusher of the Holy Spirit. Once I found out that I didn't have any power without the Holy Spirit, then I began to ask, I began to seek, and I began to knock. And the Lord poured it out upon me. He poured it out. And I realized for the first time that there was a quickening in my being. You know, when a woman is pregnant, there is a time about three months along in her pregnancy that the baby begins to move and be active. And that is called the quickening. You know, and this is exactly how I felt when I received the outpouring of the Holy Spirit and, and the baptism of the Holy Spirit, and I began to speak in my prayer language, I felt that there was something that was alive on the inside of me. You know, many times that the Holy Spirit lays dormant in a person's life. And this is the time, people of God, this is the time, children of God, for us to rise up and begin to take hold of everything that God has for us. Have you ever said, God, I just want everything that you have? And, and when you do that, he is going to give you everything that he has. Praise the name of Jesus. And one mighty thing that he has is to baptize you in the Holy Spirit. And how do you do that? You just ask. You just ask him for it. You know, you ask for salvation and it's all through faith. All through faith. You were saved by faith. Healing comes by faith. Prosperity comes by faith. Because that is the supernatural realm where God is. It is the faith realm. So I encourage you today to ask, to seek, and to knock on that door, which is Jesus. And that door is going to swing open wide, and the Holy Spirit is going to come, and it's going to overtake you, and you're going to know that there is something on the inside of you that is alive, and it's called the Word of God. The Word becomes alive because it is spirit, and it is life. Hallelujah. And so I encourage you today, to just receive everything that God has for you. Receive your healing. Receive your prosperity. Receive the ministry that God has for you. Receive all of the love that God has for you. Through the Holy Spirit, coming through that door, which is Jesus Christ. Thank you for viewing. Jesus.